Thanks for tuning in guys to the Pest and Lawn Jiu Today, we're gonna go over how to repair bare spots in your lawn. Believe it or not, this lawn behind me is only about three and a half, four months old and it looks hopping. Now I couldn't be happier with this Baron Brug RPR. It was one of the easiest grasses I've ever planted in my entire career over the last 18 years. Lawn came in fast, it came in thick, but I've got some problem areas that didn't take. I've been cutting this RPR between three quarters of an inch and about half an inch for the last six weeks, and it's handling it like a boss. I'm mowing on average two to three times a week, the color staying, and I couldn't be happier. Now you see in the lawn, I've actually got some areas that are a little bit rough. Now I'll show you the before pictures. I had some water drainage issues to push the seed out here. Uh, but considering where I'm at, I'm actually really happy with this. And then this area is kind of interesting. We actually had a lot of issues because of the shade from the tree casting on the ground. And I ran out of peat moss which I ended up just using my loam from a local supplier. They had sand and a combination of topsoil in it. And I've got some bald spots. Uh, considering how bare these were, the RPR did its job on filling it in as far as I believe it's going to this season. And I'm really, really happy with it, but it's time to repair these areas. Now this area is right over a sprinkler head that I didn't have a chance to rise and that whole entire area was bald. It's now filled in for the most part. Now just like a lot of you guys out there, I don't have a ton of time to waste on my own lawn because I'm busy working. I'm busy slaying your lawn at your house. So I ended up contacting the manufacturers of Turfmen and they donated me a 35 pound bag to test out. And I'm really excited because it already has the Barenbrug RPR in it that I planted. Matter of fact, it has the yellow jacket technology with it. Now, when I talked to the owners of Turfmen, they said this was quick and easy. They set my expectations. I can continue mowing. Matter of fact, they want me to mow over the top of the patch kit, which I'll be honest with you, I'm a little leery about this one. I told them either way, I was posting the results. <laughs> So we're gonna see how well this really works. And the other thing was, they just wanted me to do my regular watering schedule and then, and then water twice a day, which I'm also a little shocked about. So we're really gonna get an idea of how well this works. Now this one 30 or 35 pound bag is gonna do about 425 to 450 square feet. Now for my little patch job, I really don't need a lot. Uh, I'm probably looking at less than 100 square feet. And we're gonna go old school today. We're just gonna scoop it out by hand, throw it down, lightly rake it in, and we're gonna water it and track our progress. Oh boy. Ah, crap. That is the most amazing tough bag on the planet. Okay guys, here's what it looks like. They have their own proprietary blend of compost and soil. You can see that RPR in here, just popping. And there it is. Your lawn is impressive. Oh, thanks, how are you guys? You know, it's, only, it's my little baby, three and a half months old. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Now I've got a lot of prep work in my lawn. You'll notice I've got bare dirt. For those of you at home, you're gonna need seed to soil contact. So it may be necessary to take a rake, rough up the area and get rid of the debris that's lying on top in order to get that seed to soil contact. Now, I have to admit, that was one of the easiest projects that I've done so far this year. My head's a little dirty, but that's about it. The rest of it, it took all but two minutes. I'm not even gonna use the rake, to be honest with you. I think we just treat this the way that we treated the RPR to begin with, and we just make it simple. We put it down, I'm not gonna compact it, and we're just gonna turn the water on for a couple of minutes, and that's about it. We're just gonna let it rip, tater chip, and then uh, let's see what the results look like. 
Here we are two weeks later after we laid down our turf mend patch kit in my lawn in several areas. Now, one thing I want you to understand is I did the bare minimum. Matter of fact, I didn't even syringe it twice during the day like I said I was going to because I just didn't have time. Temperatures were spiking between 90 and 100 degrees. And then over the last week, week and a half, we've really taken a dip. Now, when it comes to grass seed, one thing I want you to understand is if you water it, it commonly germinates. There's, there's rarely a time where I see dysfunction in seed germination if it's actually getting proper water. So let's go look at our results. Now let's just take a moment and look at these zigzags. Look at Royce basking in his glory on this lawn. These zigzags came in. This was a recommendation of somebody on Instagram decided to run with. And let's look at the results of the turf mend. I ended up putting some around this sprinkler head right here. We had a big bald area surrounding the sprinkler head. That is now all filled in. When we came around the perimeter of the driveway, it was all sorts of pitted out. All of that is now fixed, which I'm really pleased to see that. Now, one of the tough spots was where we were getting a ton of seed washout which is around this sprinkler head here. And it is 90% filled in, which very pleased again at how well this worked considering I didn't do anything other than put the patch kit down, made no changes to my water schedule whatsoever. And when we followed around, I ended up making small patches here, here. Let's see if I can get a better shot over there. Royce, I need you to really take this serious, buddy. Hey, no goofing off. We're on camera. We ended up doing a patch here. Now let me kind of explain this area here. It was completely bald, completely sparse. And I'm extremely satisfied with the results that I've got thus far at how much it's pulled itself in with the patch kit. Now, considering I didn't make any changes to my watering schedule, I got a lot of seed washout, just the same way that I did the first time. And that's not on turf, man, that's on the ginger. I really just wanted to see what we could do with a bare minimum. Now, a few other areas that really just didn't go was right here. And again, I got seed washout. I got new growth along the perimeter um, and that's gonna fill in. Now, this whole area filled in, which really, really happy. And then I had a bunch of small pitted areas from right here through here. And these are 50% better, which very, very pleased to see, especially with the befores and afters, it made a huge, huge difference. Now, we also had the little area following all the way through here. This is no longer pitted out, it's very clean. And then I put sporadic spots through here and you can't even see them because they're gone. Now I took the advice of turf men. I didn't change any of my habits. Matter of fact, I did them one up. I didn't even take their advice really and syringe the lawn twice a day. Now, <laughs> the lesson I learned is the seed germinates. Product's good and it was really, really easy. And the results that I got, I'm actually kind of shocked because temperature's really high. Uh, ideally, if you're in my situation, what I would do to take full advantage when you spend money like this is to change your watering habits during the day. So if you're doing a nightly watering for like 20 minutes, do it like four times during the day for maybe 23 minutes to accommodate for evaporation. Now, you only have to do that for about five to 10 days with this RPR before it germinates, and then you can just resume your regular schedule. The, this process is as fast as grabbing the bag, putting your hand in, and throwing it on the ground. So I'm gonna end up going back and patching over the areas that got washed out. Now that my nighttime temperatures have really come down, I'm not watering as much, and I don't run the risk of that seed kind of running off the top this go around. So it's gonna end up looking buttery and smooth. Come springtime, we're gonna be banging. It's gonna be awesome. A lot of you guys out there are wondering if this type of patch kit is right for your lawn. And I'll tell you this, perennial rye, Kentucky bluegrass, and in turf type tall fescue, it is fantastic. 
Well guys, that is my quick and easy review of the Turfman RPR patch kit. I'm gonna post some links in the description of the video below. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know I'd love to help you guys out. Until next time guys, it's the Pest and Lawn, JJ. We're slaying lawns.